welcome to Practical Diplomacy. If you ask people, everyone wants their lives to be full of adventures. It sounds great, but in the end you see most people end up with little to none of it in their lives. So in my experience, there are some fundamental questions that determine the outcome of this. One such question is if one is willing to put in the dedicated work to get close to opportunities for adventure. We all know people who used to have those bright eyes looking into the future and just let the years pass without taking any action and at one point it simply becomes too late. If you are up for adventure, the best way is to act today and tomorrow and the day after. Strive for a profession which carries adventure in itself. So you don't have to restrict such experiences for the weekends or your holidays. Um, well, unsurprisingly, I think diplomacy is a highly adventurous profession. So if you want it, you are ready to work to become part of this multicolored world of diplomacy, then you will have the chance to live a colorful, interesting and overall adventure filled life uh, in the specific field of your choice. The other and more important factor, I believe, is decision making or rather daring to make the right decisions. I've had these situations multiple times after lectures or in friendly conversations that I'm telling a story of diplomatic life and then someone says, Dave, you have such an adventure movie type of life. Uh, and I gave it a lot of thought. And I think it all, all boils down to this. There are many, many decision making situations along one's way every day. Big decisions, small decisions, complicated ones, simple ones. Now, if you make an average decision, most probably the consequences will also be average. However, if you dare to make a movie like decision, well, the consequences, the outcome may also be like an adventure movie. And it's mostly about human stuff. Once at a conference, I saw a junior diplomat uh, of another delegation run around all day long. And in the evening, she was just sitting in the lobby, completely exhausted. It was the average decision. Just walk past her, mind my own business. Instead, I bring her a soda and tell her she really deserved it. Uh, she is thankful. We start to chat. Turns out she's from Nepal. What? Nepal? I'm actually planning to go there next month. Really? What are you going to do? Not sure yet. A bit of Kathmandu, a bit of trekking. We'll see. And within a minute, she's linking me up with her friend who runs an outdoors company. We exchange contact, contacts. And before I know it, I'm in Nepal. Her brother is showing me around the beauties of Kathmandu and her friend is organizing me a trek. All an amazing adventure. And we are still friends up until today. Why? Because I didn't walk past her. So, uh, another time when I served in Thailand, we donated a water treatment container to Laos to provide drinking water to an area hit by floods. However, the container needed specific chemicals to function and those were nowhere to be found in Laos. Can we send it by air? Turns out that these are highly flammable and explosive, so <laughs> no transport company would take it. The average decision? write a report home that unfortunately there's no way to get the water treatment started but i was like no i'll drive it so we bought the chemicals in bangkok packed up the embassy car and i drove the 10 hours from bangkok to vientiane where the lao army welcomed it like salvation with plenty of hugs and handshakes and additionally on the way back south i passed an amazing national park so i just went hiking and saw some beautiful wildlife why because i didn't make the average decision so look, these days everyone seems to gravitate towards the easiest and laziest decision. But not you, right? You are making the courageous decisions and therefore possibly within the world of diplomacy, you are destined to have an adventure filled career path. The chances are around you every day. Just don't walk past them. Thanks for watching. Keep promoting peace and uh, see you in the next chapter.